What's going on everyone, this is Thing Gaming, and today we're going to be doing what happens when you put a foreign disc in the original Xbox. A lot of people have been requesting that I bring the series back, so that's what we're doing. Let's go see the disc that we're going to be testing. And here are the games we're going to be testing. Halo 2 for the original Xbox, Fling Smash for the Wii, Crackdown 2 for the Xbox 360, Metroid Prime for the Nintendo GameCube, Mighty No. 9 for the Xbox One, Need for Speed Undercover for the PlayStation 2, Quake 3 Arena for the Sega Dreamcast, Spyro the Dragon for the PS1, Madden 97 for the Sega Saturn, Guardians of the Galaxy on Blu-ray, Halo Legends on DVD, and Diddy Kong Racing for the N64. Alright, so first off to show you that it works, we have Halo 2 for the original Xbox. And as you can see, it loads right up. Next up, we have Crackdown 2 for the Xbox 360. All right, we get this error message. Your Xbox cannot recognize this disc. Make sure it's an Xbox game, DVD movie, or audio CD. Also check if the disc is dirty or damaged. I have a feeling we're gonna be getting this message a lot. Next, we have Mighty Number no. 9 for the Xbox One. All right, we get the error message again. Next up, we're gonna be trying some of these Sega games, starting off with Mad 97 for the Sega Saturn. All right, so that's weird. We get the same error message as before. I think this is weird because the Sega Saturn, the games usually they'll play the disc as audio clips. So I think it's funny or at least interesting that the Xbox doesn't recognize this as an audio CD like a lot of the other consoles. The next disc we have being Quake 3 Arena for the Sega Dreamcast. All right, so that's really weird because almost every single time you put the Dreamcast disc in another console, you get an error message. So this is really interesting that it's not reading even the CD aspects of the discs for the Sega consoles. Next, we have the Sony system starting it off with Spyro the Dragon for the PlayStation 1. And we get the same error message. Oh my gosh, how many times is this going to happen? The next Sony system we have is PlayStation 2. The disc is going to be Need for Speed Undercover. And you could have guessed it, another error message. All right, we're gonna try the DVD. So this is Halo Legends. All right, and it's loading up the DVD. But you need the Xbox DVD playback kit to watch movies. I actually have this, I just don't know where it is, but uh, just know that if you have the little playback kit, you plug it into a controller slot and you can watch movies just as normal. Next we have the Guardians of the Galaxy Blu-ray disc. Yep, I wasn't expecting this to do anything because Blu-ray came out so far after the Xbox came out, but we got the same exact error message. Now we're on to the Nintendo consoles. First up is Fling Smash for the Wii. And of course, we have the same error message. Next up, we have Metroid Prime for the GameCube. And I thought this wasn't even going to fit, but there's a little slot actually for the uh, GameCube discs. So we're going to try it. And another disappointment, we got the error message. But it's cool that it recognizes that it's a disc because a lot of consoles won't even recognize it as a disc. They'll just say that there's something in the compartment. So that's cool that at least the Xbox recognizes it. And last, but definitely not least, we have Diddy Kong Racing for the N64. Oh wait, crap. I almost forgot. Get some tape. You're gonna hook it up right here to the back of the cart, just as so. Flip it upside down like this, then flip the tape over. Get it like this, you can adjust however you want it. So just like that, then it should read. Well, crap. Um, I guess that online form I read was wrong. N64 games do not work. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. I hope you had a fun time watching it because I know I definitely had a fun time making it. Make sure to go comment down below for any video suggestions that you would like me to do in the future. Make sure to like, subscribe, and check out some of my other videos. And I'll see all of you guys next time.